Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Grace here. If you're new to my channel, I'm a digital growth strategist. Today, let's talk about ChatGPT. Everyone is excited a bit right now, including me. And as a digital marketer, I have been using for a while, and this tool really blows my mind. The way it responds is just like a real human. And all of this associates to what we call a ChatGPT prompt, which is an instruction or question that you input for getting a desired response. So in this video, I'm going to show you the top 10 common ChatGPT prompt that you can use for your day-to-day -day in digital marketing. If you're ready, let's dive right in. In case you don't know what is ChatGPT, you can think it like a human assistant. It takes your input like a question and generates human-like response, and that's it. And the current free version is based on the GPT 3.5 model, while the paid version, ChatGPT Plus, is based on the recently launched GPT 4 model. Before we talk about each prompt, you will need to first understand some basics about prompt engineering. And if you have used ChatGPT for a while, you probably have noticed the more context that you give to it, the more accurate response that you'll get. And this is what we call prompt engineering. To be specific, prompt engineering refers to the crafting of targeted and carefully designed instruction for language model like ChatGPT to generate a desired response. There are so many prompt principles to get a good response, but these are the top six that I found very effective whenever I include them in crafting my prompts. Number one, the deliverables. You must stay clearly on your expected deliverables. So what's the answer you want to get from it? Is it an email draft, a simple piece of mark research, or just a simple suggestions? Number two, objective. Include the objective for your ads. Encourage side up, include click rate. What is the angle you want to achieve through that task? Number three, Add us. Include a perspective for ChatGPT to adopt in order to generate more relevant response. Number four, tone. What should be the tone of the output? Is it in friendly tone, casual tone, professional tone, or persuasive tone? Number five, format. What should be the format of the output? Is it in bullet point format, table format, or well formatted coding? Number six, target audience. Who is it for? Giving the target audience will give the extra context to ChatGPT. And I found it really useful, particularly if you use it in copywriting stuff or SEO content research. Of course, based on different tasks, you can adjust the input a bit, but basically you should be specific in your ask and include the context in order to get a meaningful response. Now let's jump into the prompts in different digital marketing use cases. Problem number one, pay at copy. ChatGPT is so powerful in generating different ad copies ideas and I found it really useful if you just want some quick ideas out of the box and to get ad variations. You can try this from asking for ad copy ideas based on your target keywords, the ad format, and the desired tone. The important thing here is to paste the landing page copy here so that you can make sure ChatGPT can generate output that really match your ad landing page. Well, you can see the response is pretty amazing and you can review them and make adjustments before you really put them in your ad campaign. And a tip here is you can adjust slightly and just ask ChatGPT to give you some ideas for your ad headlines, description, marketing slogan, or creative tagline. Just be creative here and you probably will get some surprising response from ChatGPT. Problem number two, keyword research. As a digital marketer, you will come across a lot of keyword research. Good news is ChatGPT can give you tons of keyword ideas to start with. Let's try this from. Just include a key topic and a target audience. With a simple command, you can instantly get a handy list of keywords to start with. Now, you can adjust it slightly to also get a list of thematic keywords, long tail keywords, or well relevant keywords just to further expand your keyword list. Currently, ChatGPT won't able to give you search volume data. What I would do is to put these keywords back to your keyword research tool in order to identify the potential for each keyword. Problem number three, SEO friendly blog outline. ChatGPT can increase your content creation productivity by 10 times in a minute. You can ask it to quickly generate a blog outline and it saves you a lot of time structuring the article flow. You can try this from Ask it to create a SEO friendly blog outline about a certain topic. Remember to include your target audience and the goal of the blog in order to get a more accurate response. Now, you get a pre-designed structure of your blog and you can make adjustments. And I also love how it also includes keywords to highlight for each section for SEO. You can even ask it to generate the whole blog draft. But to me, I found it may not be really useful if the blog really technical or cover really specific details. Problem number four, optimize SEO page title. ChatGPT can be very creative because basically its knowledge is built on a huge amount of data. 
and therefore it's very useful to optimize your SEO page title like this prompt. I use it to give some page title ideas based on a copy. And one thing to note is ChatGPT 3.5 cannot add that URL. So what I would suggest is you paste the landing page content here for it to understand what the copy is about in order to grab some meaningful page title. And you know what? It usually takes me an hour to draft some good page titles. And now it takes me a few seconds. You can modify the prompt a bit by specifying your requirements, like any keywords must avoid or must include, or relevant keywords for it to brainstorm even more page title ideas. Prompt number five, email subject lines. When it comes to email marketing, your email subjects will almost determine the success or failure of your email campaign. People will only open your email when it's click-worthy. And this is the prompt I have used a lot in generating different email subject lines. Again, put your email body copy to give more context to ChatGPT to draft more meaningful email subject lines. Who? In just a few seconds, I already got a list of email subject lines to start with. Another tip here, you can even turn it into an A-B testing campaign by asking ChatGPT to generate different email subjects and copy based on two sets of personas with different pain points. Problem number six, social media posts. It's time to talk about social media. Rather than just simply ask ChatGPT, drive me a social media post, you want to link it back with an action. So try this prompt framework. Specify your social platform, design the action, the tone, and your target audience. Also include a landing page copy to get a good response. This is so cool. It even includes emojis and hashtag that is ready to use. ChatGPT, you're really so considerate. Problem number seven, personal research. I'm not saying you should skip your market research and just rely on ChatGPT to do it. But if you really want to get some inspiration to start with, surprisingly, ChatGPT also does a really good job by giving me some good response. And particularly, I found this super prompt for MakerBox can use some good response. Now, let's try this example. Include the business nature and industry. And the most important thing here is to also ask ChatGPT to include the problem, the pain points, the jobs to be done, motivations, trigger, various context for that persona. I'm really impressed by the output as it gives me some directions for dropping my marketing message. Now, the tip here is you need to be very cautious with this. I would still recommend you to talk with your target customer, try to validate them and refine your position statement and not 100% rely on the ChatGPT output. Because at the end of the day, you are the one who understands your customer better than the chatbot does. Agree? Problem number eight, landing page optimization. This is a little bit tricky because ChatGPT 3.5 cannot access a landing page URL. But what we could do is to ask it to provide what kind of content to include for conversion improvement. So let's see the example. Include your business, target audience, and the specific action to take. See, ChatGPT comes up with a list of actions and they're really awesome. Now the tip here is combine it with your competitor analysis and customer research results and to pick strategically on those that your audience really wants. From number nine, product description for e-commerce. AI writing is not something new in e-commerce and for some marketplaces, they have been using it for a while to scale the SEO. And now with ChatGPT, it becomes even more accessible to everyone and you should definitely use it to give a better result in SEO and your shopping ads campaign. Now let's try this from. Include the basic product name, product type, the target audience, and very important is to ask ChatGPT to include a click-worthy product title, description, and product highlights for the desired action. You see, isn't it impressive? It can save you and your e-commerce team a ton of time of generating meaningful product description. You can even hint ChatGPT with some relevant keywords if you already got some keyword ideas. From the time, storyboard online. Occasionally, digital marketer like us will need to brainstorm creative ideas on video production for social media or product launches, or even YouTube video like what I'm shooting right now. And it usually takes us some time to research on the idea. Luckily, now we got ChatGPT to help on this. So let's try this from. Include your product, the target audience, and remember the more specific details to give about the business would be the better. You can see ChatGPT will give you the details and voiceover about each scene. Of course, you will need to adjust to suit your product and your brand tone or style, or if you really need a VO. You can also hint ChatGPT with the product features in order to get some more ideas. You can see, basically, you can ask ChatGPT for anything, and so the prompt list can be endless. Though, one 
thing to keep in mind, you should have your own judgment to the ChatGPT output. Always do a fact check and make changes to the output to make it really accurate to your audience. Because at the end, we understand our brand, our customer better than ChatGPT. And also, we are digital marketers with critical thinking. If you find this video useful, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel to learn other digital growth strategies. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.